March March 2023. Um, that's important because uh, ChatGTP is moving forward really quickly. So um, probably when you're watching this, things would have changed really quickly. So we're currently working with the ChatGTP3 um, model. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get ChatGTP, or in this case, u.com, to give some feedback on students' introductory paragraphs. So I've asked it here. I asked my students the question, examine the geopolitical significance of oil. And that's an IB question from a few years back. And I asked them to compare two answers that student gave. Now, as I found out, at the moment it can't handle full essays, but what it can handle is one paragraph at a time. So I've asked it for the introductory paragraph. So here we go. I've inputted student introductory paragraph number one. And um, you might want to pause it so you can have a quick read of the introductory paragraph that this student wrote. And then you can see chatgtpu.com was able to give some feedback to the student. Um, here it talks about economic growth, development, stability, cooperation. It's also here talked about what the... Uh, the reader has identified as things that are important. Um, so we did specifically talk about the agricultural imperative. So that's good the students put it in there. It says here that it adds perspective to the answer. Um, I emphasised to the student as well about case studies, Saudi Arabia, USA and OPEC. U.com has picked up on that. So because it is only looking at the introduction, um, it does give some feedback. So it says that one possible area of improvement is the lack of specifics. Okay, and certainly that is something that I emphasise to students uh, quite a lot. The student actually did go on to talk about specifics with Saudi Arabia. But of course, u.com doesn't know that because it could only handle the introductory paragraph. So it says that there is room for improvement in terms of specific specificity and organisation. So the situation here is that the student could write the introduction and then before they write the rest of the essay, pop it into uh, u.com to see what the feedback is. But here as a teacher, what I wanted to see is a comparison of those two introductory paragraphs. So I popped in the second introductory paragraph. You might want to pause the video and decide yourself which do you think is the better introductory paragraph. Certainly I have my ideas on which of the two was the better introductory paragraph. So it says here, answer two also provides a good introduction. In general, u.com is very polite and very complimentary to the students. Um, here, um, they highlighted here, talked about complexity, cause and effect relationships. And that is one characteristic of a higher order answer that will get a better grade. So it's interesting that u.com was able to pick up on that. Again, it asks, it suggests some improvements for specific examples. Um, again, the student did go on um, to give some specific examples. But here, additionally, it says here, uh, the answer could be organised better better to provide a clearer structure and smoother transitions. And this particular student of the second essay, um, that is one of the weaknesses that he, she, he, she, they have on that. It's actually the transitions. Um, actually, the second uh, student in this case is a second language learner. So again, even from the introduction, it managed to pick up those transitions and the smoothness um, within the within the essay. I asked it then, and this is where it got a little bit confused, which was better, answer one or two. One thing you do need to understand about uh, ChatGDP is that is there randomness in there? And sometimes you do need to persevere. So again, I've asked it, again, I asked students, examine the geopolitical significance of oil. Can you give me feedback on their answer? And here's the really impressive thing, it works out what I was actually asking. It's actually politely apologised for the confusion earlier and then it's gone on to compare both of the essays. Now again it's very complimentary here. It says that both are good uh, in both are good insights. 
uh, but they have different strategies. So answer one, highlights into relationships, certainly something that is something that I've asked students to emphasize. That's a characteristic of a higher order answer, particularly a question that asks a student to examine something. Then it says, on the other hand, answer two provides a more concise summary of the geopolitical significance of oil. Okay. And it says here about uh, economic disparity. One area of improvement is for both of them, actually, they lit, list, uh, they, they lack case studies, but the student did use case studies in the rest of the essay. Um, so there it says that um, in conclusion, both answers have their strengths and weaknesses, but uh, it depends on the context and requirement of the assignment. Now that's where we as teachers need to jump in and help the student understand some context because at the moment AI doesn't understand the context. There are limitations to this. It said it can't do an entire essay. And then I said, how about one paragraph of the essay? I popped in a further paragraph of the essay. And because this is a free product, it said I've had enough of their resource. I I've used up enough of their resources. I have looked at beta versions of uh, ChatGTP4. Um, that's even more impressive. ChatGTP4 can handle entire essays and you can actually input the assessment criteria and it gives a uh, pretty convincing and useful feedback. So this is March 2023, probably in a month's time, things will move along very, very quickly. But even at the moment, you can see that these tools give really potentially useful ways for students to work collaboratively collaboratively with each other and compare different strategies just on the introductory paragraph. So what I would suggest at the moment students could use this um, as a collaborative learning tool, inputting two introductory paragraphs and getting some feedback from a chat GDP on which is the better paragraph and which paragraph and the uh, different ways of answering the question.